So that's why you have to, to delegate. And the lame excuse everybody uses, what's the number one reason everybody, the excuse everyone uses for why they can't grow, why they can't grow their team? No, it's, you can't find good people, right? You know, they're, they're, you can't find good people. They're, they come in late, they leave early, they're smoking dope on the brakes, you know, they're, you know, you can't, you can't, they like, does anyone ever feel like me? I know, and I'm not the only one, where you look at something and you're like, really? Am I the only one, like, am I the only one who can see that this is wrong? Like, how do you not see this is wrong, right? Am I the only one? And like, it happens like, all, yes, right? And so, my, yeah, exactly, right? Now, so, so part of that is, there's, there's two parts to that. Some people, if they just don't get it, they got to go. Because the conversation you have with them, and it, the, here's a book, to, I wrote about it in the newsletter. It's Keith Cunningham's The Road Less Stupid, right? And, and there's, a, there's a chapter, and not everybody, you should all read it, right? It's common sense. It's just common sense, right? But the one thing, he, you know, is having a, a truthful conversation with that employee and saying, look, you know, I... Uh, you'll have, it's a, he calls it an apology letter. You're basically saying, I apologize because clearly I have not made it clear to you how important it is to get this right. So help me understand where I'm failing you and not giving you training or not being clear or not, you know, because I've asked you to do this. This is on your scorecard. We've talked about it before and it's still not getting done. And I do not have time to beg you or babysit you to do your job. You have never had to beg me for your paycheck. So I should not have to beg you to do your job, all right? Yeah, exactly. But roll it back. If you have not been clear, then that's on you, all right? So it's, you are as much part of the problem as they might be. You may be the problem, okay? So you got to get out of this, you can't find good people because here's your option, options. You can lower your standards and just don't look at what's going on because you know it's ugly. And that's why when I tell you to audit the phone calls coming into your office, a lot of people don't. And I say audit the tech calls. Every, just, you don't have to listen to them all, just spot check. They don't because they know it's ugly and they just, you know what, I just, that's good enough is good enough, right? The other thing is you can attempt to delegate, but you keep me doing most of the work. So you delegate it, you figure out this person can't do it, so you just take that back on. And then they can't do something else and you take that back on. And before you know it, Holly, does this sound familiar, right? You're, and I know you're not the only one, I do it too. Um, I mean, look, I, all of this, I, the reason I can say this is because I do it too, right? And then you take it back and before you knew it, you're paying them to do a job that you're still doing 50% of the work right? And now you're aggravated and you're frustrated and, uh, and you don't want to start over because it's like hiring people is difficult and all the rest of it. So your costs go up, your frustration goes up. You attempt to delegate, but then you just kind of look the other way and deal with the massive mess later. So some people, they abdicate, they don't delegate. There's a difference. The abdication is the, here's the toolkit, good luck and hang in there, all right? Let me know how it's going and you check back three months, six months later and nothing's happened and there's just dysfunction, okay? So there's that option and you just keep repeating the above until you get so cynical you give up and you fire everyone and you just say, well, I'm gonna stay small. And there was, I, I wish I could remember the gentleman's name, but I was at a conference and there was a guy who owned 300 Taco Bell franchise restaurants, right? So he was like a master agent, whatever they call him, right? And he said something, and I'll, I can't remember the guy, but I can remember the statement. He said, you're better off, if you're going to be in the restaurant business, you're better off owning one restaurant or 100. He said, because if you own one, you're small enough where you can control everything. You can make sure the bathrooms are clean, that the food is cooked well, that the employees are courteous, um, that there's no food poisoning and stuff like that. He said, when you, so you can do that with one. The minute you try to add two or three or four is when you get into trouble. He said, if you own a hundred, you just don't even have time. Now you're just managing by numbers and percentages, right? Now you're going, okay, um, we had, um, Okay, so there was only 5% 5 reported food poisoning. Okay, that's within an acceptable range. No, I'm serious. I, I, am, I am deadly serious. 
we only have, uh, you know, 10% of our employees are suing us for, you know, so that's within an acceptable range. And no, I, I am, I am as, I'm as serious as onions. That is the truth. Because you, now you know it's going to happen and it's too big for you. And you try, I mean, of course they try to systematize and hire better and fix these problems and prevent these things. Absolutely. But the point I'm making is that where the, it's kind of the valley of death that, that Greg talks about is between the one and the five million, right? And, and it's because when you own two or three restaurants, now you're making yourself nuts because you're, you're spending all your time driving between them, you know, going over, fixing this, putting out this fire, running over here, because you're small enough where you can still kind of have a hand in everything, but you're big enough where you cannot handle it all, right? So the, the, the reality is you've got to learn to delegate unless you're going to say micro small and still control everything. And if that's your conscious choice, then there's nothing wrong with that if that's your conscious choice. If, but if you're gonna kind of venture out into the one to three million kind of range, right, and you wanna grow and replace yourself, then you, gotta, you have to learn to delegate. There is no other way that you're gonna get this done.